Hi there folks, this is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your small motorhome specialists. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. My brother Levi or I would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2004 Chinook Destiny with only 50,024 miles. Stay tuned as this is being deemed the cleanest Chinook we've ever had. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2004 Chinook Destiny. As usual, I'm gonna start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we're proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. This particular unit was purchased new by the owners of Kimball Electronics. They owned it almost its entire life. It was always stored inside. They sold it to some other folks, and according to the Carfax, they only owned this just a little over a month. They were having some mobility issues. They were not able to use the coach like they planned, so they contacted us, and that's how we acquired this coach. After going through our shop, our guys are deeming this one the nicest Chinook we've ever had. And that's not to say the other ones we have aren't nice. We've had a lot of great, great Chinooks here. But this one is just extremely, extremely clean. Something that would be worthy of a museum. So very minimal blemishes inside now, always stored inside. Just super clean throughout. So without any further ado, we'll get going on this coach here. Got about 76 inches of headroom here in the main part. About 73 and a half here at the air conditioner. Got about 74 inches there at the lower part in the rear. The AC here in the center runs off of shore power plug-in or generator only. It's controlled via the thermostat here. You also control the propane furnace through that thermostat. We got the brown colored furnace ducts along the floor. And as you can see, I am using the unicorn pointer in honor of this truly unicorn Chinook that we've got here. Got a plug in inside there. That's the microwave that's plugged in there. Got a 110 plug in here. These speakers that you see are run to this head unit here. So this has a tuner, CD player, you can put music in here and you'll be able to listen to it through these speakers that you're seeing throughout the coach. Got another 110 plug, light switch here for the little mood lights. Got a window that opens with a screen on this portion. Pull these shades down for privacy. table here gives you some good seating you can adjust these chairs they've got a release and these can spin around move forward and backwards some so you can just release that there it's a little hard to do with one hand but you get the idea I'll flip you around now to the driver's side we've got a light switch for these mood lights got a 110 outlet 12 volt power got the same style shade screened portion on this side got your tv antenna crank there we've got a mix of tile flooring and carpet here this is heated tile so you control the tile heat right here on this thermostat that is AC 110 power only. So you have to be plugged in or running the generator. This does work. So this tile is nice and warm right now. I've got this turned on. This is a power sofa. So you can control the power sofa via these two switches here. Got three belts on that sofa for a total of five belts in this unit. I'm going to go ahead and run that sofa down now so you can get some pictures of what that looks like and get some measurements. The sofa bed measures approximately 74 inches long or north-south in the coach and 55 inches wide or east-west in the coach. 
There's about 21 inches of width without putting the couch down at all. You can use the swivel chairs as footrests and sleep east-west, and you'd have about 75 inches of length sleeping this way. The couch can be used like a recliner and can stop at any point within the mechanism's range so you can get the position that's just right for you. Down here along the floor, we've got a safe and some storage area below one of the seats. Got the center rafter for your awning. Got some storage beneath the couch sofa bed. That's your water tank there. Beneath this chair, we've got a vacuum system. That duct on the right is a furnace duct there. This vacuum system, it plays through or plugs in through this port here. We were not able to locate the little hose that goes inside of here that may be stuck somewhere throughout the coach that we're not able to locate that yet. However, we do not have the hose that plugs in here. We got a fantastic fan in the center of the coach that runs off of your coach battery that can act like an attic fan at night. If you've got these windows open and you've got that fan on, it will pull the cool outside air inside, cool you down. Got a convection microwave oven, so that will actually heat up. That's AC power only, so short power plug-in or generator. Got this monitor here, test the holding tank. Um, so that's the black tank, which is your toilet, your gray, which is your sink and your shower, your onboard freshwater tank, your propane gas, and your coach battery. Turn your water pump on and off here, hood light and fan. Got a three burner propane cooktop. You can ignite that right there on the stove itself. Got nice Corian countertops in here. We've got a three-way separate fridge freezer. So this is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning the coach battery or propane gas. It's all controlled via the buttons on the front of the unit. I recommend leaving that on auto and it will do what it needs to do to stay cold as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Got a water heater on off switch, 12 volt power. Some area up there for some kitchen goodies. Got the Chinook Coke bottle opener there. Counter extension. Got a drawer. Another drawer. I love how these drawers even say Chinook on them. This is your fuse panel. <clears throat> so we got your 110 breakers. This is everything that's running off of the shore power plug-in or the generator. And you've got your 12 volt fuses. This is everything that's running off the coach battery. This is a nice cheat sheet that way you know what is AC power and what is DC power. Got a noxious gas detector there by the floor. A little soap holder. Again, got the nice Corian countertops. A little paper towel holder over there. Base and sink. Closet here to hang your goodies. Got another noxious gas detector up top here. Got the start stop switch for the Onan generator. It's an Onan 4K, fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. That has 154 hours. Got various light switches here. Also, the step switch to turn on and off the power step. That way, that will not come in and out every time you open or close the door if you're staying somewhere. Fire extinguisher, got a flashlight there. A little bit of a step up and in, but not too much. We do have a screen door. Checking out the bathroom now. Nice, easily accessible bathroom. Barely any step up and in. Got a nice big spot there where you can either sit or put your goodies. your shower head on the wall, a bar there to hang some things from. Got this exhaust fan um, thing you can open up here. It's also got a light in it. 
medicine cabinet here does open. Nice sink, nice toilet, Get your toilet paper holder there. Got a little rail here, you can pull the shower curtain around you. This is a really, really nice bathroom in a Chinook. This is bigger than the average bathroom in the Chinooks that you'd see in like the concourse or the premiere. So this is definitely the optimal bathroom. Not a small guy here. I'm about 6'3", 240, and I can definitely fit in here very well. It's very comfortable. Here we are standing at the rear of the RV. My wife said if I bought her one more stupid Christmas present, she was going to burn it. Good thing I bought her a candle this year. There's the little lock there for the swivel and the front and back on these chairs. Also got 12 volt power down here. Got these speakers throughout. They're controlled via this head unit, as I mentioned earlier. This is where a VCR would have been previously. We removed that and added in this 12 volt charging station. So you can sit your iPad, phone, things like that here and charge those through this. This is a solar power controller. This is gonna tell you how much charge is coming in off the solar panel. Got your manuals there in the brown bag. We've got an inverter here. So what this inverter does is takes your coach battery power, inverts that to AC power, so that way you can watch your TV from the coach battery power. It's nice for kids if you're traveling or if you're boondocking, you can still watch your TV. Got a curtain here that snaps across to create privacy in the front. This CD changer is wired to the head unit up front where the driver and passenger sit. However, we think this might be becoming obsolete here just with the advancement of technology, so I would not count on this disc changer working. This is also some sort of navigation system that is obsolete. We left that in here. Got some more storage in the back. Got a TV with a built-in DVD player. That's brand new. We added that in. Another speaker hiding over there. So all in all... We have never given a coach a perfect 10 rating. However, after having our guys in the shop go through this and they've seen a lot of units, we knew this one was very nice from the get-go, but with their reassurance that this is the nicest Chinook we've ever had, um, I'm going to go ahead and call this one a 9.9. .9. Again, this thing is museum grade. Very, very, very minimal blemishes. Extremely well taken care of. Basically a one owner. Um, the second owner only had it very, very briefly before finding out it wasn't going to work with them due to mobility issues. Again, 9.9 .9 out of 10. Near perfect unit. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt cruise, CD player. Got serious capabilities on the CD player. Nice little glove box there. Very clean upholstery. No burns, smells, stains, tears, no signs of smoking. I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Got your backup camera TV screen that's gonna pop out of here so you can use your backup camera. That's part of this head unit. Up top, we've got these lights that let you know when things are open throughout the coach. So I got everything open here except for having the TV antenna up and the spare tire down. But those lights let you know that that's open so you don't drive away while you still have one of those doors open. Got your driving lights, vehicle boost start. What that does is jump starts you from the coach batteries. If you were to leave the key on and run the battery dead up front, just push and hold that. It'll jump start you from the coach batteries. Generator start stop switch. Coach battery disconnect. That prevents parasitic draw. So what that's going to do is disconnect the coach batteries from everything in here. So that way you don't have them running dead over the winter or while you're not using the coach. That also disconnects the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the alternator while you drive, the generator, or the solar panel. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2004 Chinook Destiny. This RV measures 23 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11-foot manual awning. The tires have 2721 date codes. This Chinook is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis with a six liter V8 engine with 50,024 miles. Again, our guys are calling this the nicest Chinook we've ever had. So tons and tons of shine here on the exterior, something you're not gonna find much else of anything, if anything at all, that's in this condition. We've got a minor scratch here. Somebody's dabbed a little bit. You can see that there too just a little speck of it there. 
However, all in all, a near perfect coach. At the top of your fridge, with that solar panel up here, this is the air conditioner. That's your propane tank down below. That's mounted to the RV, so you have to drive that wherever you'd like to have that filled. Got a storage bay, two brand new coach batteries. Back of the refrigerator, furnace exhaust. It's your Onan generator here and the exhaust. As a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Got the ladder for roof access. Got a backup camera, porch light. Got a tow package down here. That step comes in and out automatically when the door opens and closes. Got a control here to lower the spare tire. Light here. Got a little outside entertainment center with two 110 plugins. This does work. However, these speakers are not that loud. So if you're looking for loud music, you might bring your uh, Bluetooth type speaker with you these days, but these do work. The tuner is the tuner that's up in the front by the TV. Got your toilet vent up top there. Just gonna get you a closer look at the stripes. Fantastic looking coach. Got your sewer dump down here. You got your black and your gray. Pull the black first, that'll let your toilet go. Pull the gray, that'll let your sink and shower go. Got a sewer hose storage. Back of the water heater. We've got a cable TV and phone jack in. Your shore power cord is inside of this little hole here. Got an outside shower, it's nice for kids or pets. Got a black tank flush, city water connection, and the fill for the onboard fresh water tank. Nice big storage drawer. Get the fill for the fuel tank that runs the engine and the generator. Again, just terrific looking coach. Hardly any blemishes. Got this rock guard type thing here. Has a little bit of yellowing or discoloration from age. But as far as the paint, decals, stripes, everything like that, this thing is just beautiful. Mm -hmm.